Well, greetings, YouTube model people. How is it going? All right, it is actually Friday here, October 11th, 2024, and I'm working on uh, basically the 2024 Cancer Awareness Group Build, uh, the Chris Cortell Cancer Awareness Group Build, um, hosted by Bob Boosking. Uh, definitely go check out uh, Bob Boosking's channel here on YouTube, um, and he's on Facebook as well but uh, mainly know him from the YouTube realms. Uh, if you want to get in on this year's Cancer Awareness Build, it runs the entire month of October. So certainly there's plenty of time to, to get involved. Um, and again, it's just to bring awareness to cancer, tell your story, whether it's you, a family member, a friend, a coworker, whatever it is, we've all sadly uh, been impacted and touched by cancer in some way. So, um, so again, we're just a matter of telling the stories, the experiences you've had with cancer, maybe you can pass on tips or things to be aware of, you know, whatever that is. Um, and just, of course, using a time to remember those who were uh, no longer with us, they lost their battle with cancer, and maybe even more importantly is to um, support those who are battling cancer currently. Um, so, um, that's um, as equally important. So with that being said, I'm going to show you here, I'm doing something quite, quite different. As I mentioned in my original video this time around for the cancer awareness build. So here we go. We're going to show you what work progress is uh, that I have here in update, update number one. So working on my first ever Gundam and this is the dude here and you can see roughly how big he is. Um, good size without being super huge. Because honestly, I don't have a lot of space. Well, if I'm being totally honest, I ran out of space to display things. And I'm up to the, uh, basically where a lot of the accessories are going to be um, assembled and attached. Which is backpack and weapons. And um, he's got this big uh, jet pack and cape uh, for the back of him. So that's pretty wild. Um, actually, this, you know, again, kind of what it'll look like um, when it's all said and done. And I'm going to have him... Pretty much, or I'm going to have the Gundam standing just like this, stand tall and menacing in that regard. Um, again, we have my family and my father who had died from lymphoma, so we're going with lime green as one of the colors. The gold, I did pick this kit because it does have this gold in there. That's for children's cancer. I always try to put a little gold in. Um, the other colors that I want to try to get in here, and I think I figured out what I'm going to do with it, is lavender that's for all cancers uh that's what lavender's uh cancer awareness ribbon represents and then uh, kind of a medium blue almost this type of blue right the famous blue tape uh, maybe a little darker um for my uh, uncle who had um prostate cancer so we're going to work those colors in i kind of think i have an idea of what i'm going to do with that i think all of the um the gray areas here are going to be the lime green. Um, I'm going to leave the black black. And then um, I think this piece here is going to be the blue. And maybe other things that are red might be blue. And then the little buttons here and buttons that are on other areas will be the lavender. Um, so I think I'm kind of thinking that's how it's all going to go down. Uh, but yeah, so this is just a quick update uh, where we're at. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's a different kind of thing. Again, being a Gundam, it reminds me of, you know, it's a Bandai kit. So it reminds me of when I built the um, Millennium Falcon, um, which also went together, press fit um, style kit. So that's it, folks. All right. Uh, we'll talk in a bit. All right. Cheers.